Alrighty, hey. So, yeah, I'm Mr. Hank. Uh, there I go. I know I'm a terrible offender of this, which is ums and uhs and these sort of v verbal garbage coming out during a, a pause to think. I know absolutely and I'm like my mind is working so hard to try to stop me from saying them because this is what I'm talking about, right? But uh, <laughs> I see exactly how bad it sounds. And in particular, when you hear someone who instead of inserting these little bits of noise to uh, I into their sentences and not so much me because I just sound I just look like I'm like wow what the fuck am I saying when I don't use them because I'm so unused to speaking without <laughs> that little crutch or whatever when you hear someone who naturally hasn't learned that kind of behavior. They just sound like something from a higher plane. They sound so clear, so perfect, so so contemplative when, when they stop and think about what they're saying. It says their pauses aren't like my pauses though, right? Their pauses are these no, I'm just trying to formulate what I'm thinking. And it comes out in a complete sentence, and it comes out perfectly. It's not this huge word salad that has become so common. Now, there's a different kind of person who can avoid it. This is the news anchor, or the, the person who's providing a prepared speech. And there, it doesn't sound at all like anything. It sounds like somebody who's, you know, memorized a speech and is reading it. That led me to wonder if this is actually a fairly modern phenomenon. Now, obviously, when I say fairly modern, it's existed throughout the 20th century. That's clear because you see in, in plays that are presented, you know, in the 50s or whatever, you have this already being recorded. Or is it just that the art media are in a more realistic phase. Because if you look back, obviously opera isn't going to do it. That's very, you know, formalized and everything. But if you look back at, uh, <laughs> there you go, uh, plays from an earlier period, Shakespeare, for example, these are all a very different kind of speaking. But, I contend that there's a lack of realism in those ways that they're spoken. Those are, I don't know how, how to quite put it. There's a humor, there's a play in them and everything, but none of it is attempting to really capture all that realism. It's all, again, kind of this very formalized type of speaking in the same way that you have with, you know, your opera, with your, your ancient Greek plays, with everything like that. You don't have an attempt to capture the natural language. And the same goes for the difference between, say, your 19th century and 20th century novels. The 19th century novels, you don't have these breaches in there. You also don't have people saying, ah, oh, fuck with it. I mean, there's this, I think there's no difference, particularly in how we speak and how we've spoken through the ages. I think that what has happened is just we've captured more of a realism. Now, by capturing that realism, by not setting an ideal in all of our media, well, we give more license for it. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But it probably promulgates a cycle in which more and more people are just 
saying, yeah, you know, it's okay even in I'm doing a YouTube video on something and I'm trying to discuss my thoughts. It's okay that I speak as I speak naturally. Uh, for me, that's necessary because if I'm putting this restraint in my hands and saying, you know, I've got this layer of filter. It's just like, it stops me from being natural. It, 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 it puts something else in play. Like right now I can see, yeah, like's another issue, but right now I can see that the way I'm speaking is reined in and I can't just blather on in quite the same way. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I mean, you can look at it how you like, but my way of thinking is different by my way of speaking. And I kind of intend to give that just shoot from the hip on everything. It's the reason that I don't uh, do any kind of significant preparation. If I have points that I absolutely have to bring up in a review or something, sometimes I'll scratch them down on a notepad. But normally, I just hope that I'll catch them. That they're important enough that they wend their way into my normal conversation without causing any problem. It's funny though because you see now public speakers even at motivational events, at political rallies, at whatever, I'll use these ums and uhs at TED Talks, all kind of places where they even have a prepared speech. And that, that's just kind of astounding to me how far that's gone. And I don't know if it's terrible or not. It's just, it, 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 I find it very interesting. Anyway, I just wanted to address it because I am a terrible offender of this. There's another thing that annoys me. And this, when I'm writing never happens, but when, when, I'm, uh, when I'm just speaking, I think I'm very, very prone to it, which is using the same word multiple times in one paragraph, in one sentence. If you write that and then cycle it through your head, you say, wow, that's just wrong. That's horrible. And you go and correct that. But when you're speaking, you don't have that filter anymore. You're giving a different kind of presentation. And it's funny because I, I was... Uh, a couple of times I've, I've had people from various wargaming magazines come forward and say, hey, do you want to write an article? And I just had one. And I just try to think, you know, given how I speak and what I do there, does it make any sense for me to present something that's so different from what people are used to? I can't write this way. I cannot physically write this way. It, it, it's a totally different kind of thing. I, 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 and that's probably good. You wouldn't want ums, uh, why, you know, in your writing. I don't know that you want it in your speaking either, though, and that's, that's the thing. But uh, this is what people are used to from me, so I don't want to put too much effort, even though I understand those of you that it irks to no <laughs> limit. Anyhow, just some random thoughts that, I don't know, I'm trying to avoid playing, and it's about time for me to work.